Um, I would like to give a particular big welcome to those of you who are in Chirarongo for the first time. I hope that after you have spent time here you will be eager to come back again, especially to return to the museum of Namibia fashion. It is my privilege to welcome you to our beautiful town of Ochigorongo. Of course, as a mayor, I would like to invite you to enjoy your stay here and spend many Namibian dollars into our town by supporting our local businesses and vendors. I know that Honorable James Wiruka has shared information about some of the important heritage of Ochigorongo region, but I would like to point out some interesting information about our town, which will now be home for the Museum of Namibia Fashion. Being the district capital of Ochigarong, electoral constituency, and also the capital of Ochodonjupa region, Ochigarong is the biggest business center of Ochodonjupa region. Our town links Winduk, the Golden Triangle, of Otavi, Tsumeb, and Grootfontein, and the Etosha National Park. Our town is one of Namibia's fastest growing towns with a neat and peaceful quality environment and many excellent facilities including supermarkets, banks, lodges and hotels. Some of Namibia's best known nature reserves and other historical significant places are located in and around the town such as Urabek Plateau Park Cheetah Conservation Fund, Okonjima, and the home of the Cheetah African Cat Foundation, the Crocodile Farm, Omachene Dem, and many others. I would like to conclude by saying that I'm very happy that the Mesium Association of Namibia and the rest of the project partners have chosen to bring the Mesium of Namibia fashion to Ochivarongo town. I am aware that MEN promotes the development, the rich heritage of Namibia towns as economic set asset and the use of MESU as a culture and educational resource center. I believe that this is an important step towards achieving these goals. The establishment of this new museum in the Chivarango will not only tell more of the stories of the town but the country as a whole and will be a greater resource for our primary and secondary schools and the Namibian universities. We stand here today in what we can already see is going on to be the most beautiful museum in Namibia. I believe my town has a unique place in Namibian history and I believe that by working together you can help us to tell the history, and I thank you. It is indeed a matter of profound pleasure and privilege to welcome you all, dear participants, to Oshalanjipa region on the occasion of the launch of the Museum of Namibian Fashion. As you might be aware, a vicious respiratory disease in the form of COVID-19 has befallen the globe in 2019. And this has forced and led the globe to be innovative in ways of conducting the daily business. Namibia is not an exception. We are today launching this event in conformity to the COVID-19 regulations. Hence, a hybrid system is being used, where we are attending or participating virtually and physically. This is aimed at ensuring that we contain the spread of the virus. The importance of this museum being launched in a hybrid format, it allows for participants all over the world to be able to take part in this occasion. It also allows that we observe the COVID-19 regulations and protocols that will help us not to spread 
the virus. Ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, I would like to implore upon you, upon concluding this occasion, to share the link wherever possible so that you can reach all corners of the world that today, on this very day, we are launching the Museum of Namibian Fashion. I believe this launch, like the museum itself, will help to make people become aware of the amazing diversity of our country, of our various regions. It also be, I also believe that it will encourage many people globally and in any far away place where you find yourself to be encouraged, motivated, and in fact keen to visit our diverse and unique region of Shodanjupa so that you can come and explore and experience what Shodanjupa can offer. The Museum of Namibian Fashion is a display of the diversity of our region, how the various fashions of our region and by extension that of Namibia and Africa at large are brought together. And it talks about the historical attires of our country. And that speaks a lot to our roots from where we emanate. Ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, the Museum of Namibian Fashion Show has six galleries. The galleries are organized according to the different materials that are being used to make clothing, items, and accessories historically. The focus of these galleries is on historical items, but also include contemporary items and items commissioned for this museum particularly. I know that there are speakers that will follow me on this program that will delve into the details of the museum and will be able to elaborate the nitty gritty around it. But I would like to stress the fact that the Museum of Namibian Show, Namibian Fashion, will be a place where displays can be changed and updated as of when new objects and materials are received. So we are open to be transiting and transforming and evolving with the trends as how fashion evolves. So we encourage those that can be able to deposit items and accessories to the Museum of Namibian Fashion. You are welcome to do so without fear or favor. And I would like in my address to point out that two of the galleries demonstrate the manner in which the traditional fashion continues to shape the identity of the Namibians today. One of these galleries is a people's gallery, which consists of photographs that were contributed by the Namibian people during the Namibian Heritage Week in 2020 and 2021. The other one is the Deep Roots New Fashion, which showcases the work of the Namibian fashion designers who draw on our cultural roots to create outfits for the present and the future. To the residents of Oshodanjupa region, the Namibian nation, Africa, and globally, be aware that this is our museum. And it is our museum, it is our responsibility, and we are duty bound to make sure that it grows and it lives, that our generations to come would eventually come and experience and appreciate the effort of those that are taking part in establishing this fashion museum today. In my concluding, dear participants, I call upon all participants, your families, your friends and acquaintances, Namibia, in Africa, and globally, to make time out of your busy programs to come and visit the Museum of Namibian Fashion, in which you will come and appreciate and learn, and equally be able to advise. And wherever possible, if you have material to deposit, you're welcome to do so. We welcome you to Oshuranjipa region. We welcome to you to Oshuarongo, which is the capital of the regional government of Oshuranjipa. And dear participants, you are welcome 
to come and enjoy and have a good historical experience at the Museum of Lembin Fishing. I thank you very much. Allow me to stand on protocol already established by the previous speakers. I'd like to use this opportunity to say a few words to introduce the Museums Association of Namibia and expand a little on our vision for museum development in Namibia. The Museum Association of Namibia, more affectionately known as MAN, is a non-governmental organization that receives an annual granting aid from the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, which helps subsidize its core cost. In return, we have been accorded the responsibility for supporting regional museum development. Our museum community is very diverse, with museums that are supported by private individuals, companies, municipalities, and the government ministries. I like to think that the Museum Association of Namibia is a family that reflects our nation and that works to tell the histories and the stories of all Namibians. The main team is actually a very small team, known across the sector as Team No Sleep. The main team consists of only two full-time staff members who have to cover the whole country and facilitate all our projects since July 2021 with the passing of our beloved Dr. Jeremy Gill Sylvester. I know that they all work extremely hard and with great dedication to put our slogan of making museums matter into practice. We believe that every community deserves access to a museum experience. One way to achieve this goal is to create new museums and with the support of the European Union, we worked with the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture to create exciting new museums in the Oshikoto and Zambezi regions. And now, with the help of the Gerda Henkel Foundation, UNESCO, and other project partners, we are opening the Museum of Namibian Fashion in the Chodonjupa region. In the quest to promote access to heritage in 2014, the Museums Association of Namibia initiated the Africa Accession Project, aimed to locate and list the diaspora of African ethnographic collections from Botswana, Namibia, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, held in Finland, Germany, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. In Namibia, the Africa Accession Project became a tool to generate dialogue and collaborative projects, especially focused on provenance research. We believe that these collections are a resource that could be used in one of two ways. Firstly, it is important for Namibians to know what objects are held overseas. And secondly, there is an opportunity to work with museums to develop exhibitions in Europe that help market Namibia and raise the international profile of our country. As the saying goes, knowledge is power. I should inform you that the Africa Accession Project was revived in partnership with the University of the Western Cape in 2021. As a result of the Africa Accession Project, the wheels were set in motion for the Confronting Colonial Pasts and Visioning Creative Futures Project. The project of which the Museum of Namibian Fashion is a component sought to unlock the healing and creative potential of the colonial collections from Namibia held at the Berlin Ethnological Museum in Germany and the ethno ethnographic collection at the National Museum of Namibia. The project reconnects the collections with each other and with their heritage communities, researchers, and artists in Namibia. Based on collaborative provenance research between Namibia and German scholars, 23 objects from the Berlin Ethnological Museum in Germany have earlier this week been brought back to Namibia 
and put into dialogue with the historical collections of the National Museum of Namibia, forming the basis for training sessions in conservation, dig digitization, and curation. Museums are the custodians of our cultural heritage. Man believes that one of the important reasons why we should safeguard our cultural heritage is because their meaning and design can inspire Namibians working in the creative industries. The project's aim is to reactivate knowledge about the objects to document immaterial cultural heritage and to provide a vital source of inspiration for artists and designers. The knowledge that's, that's, the knowledge that's created, including oral histories and artworks, will be shared with the wider public on an online database, a publication, and an exhibition in the Museum of Namibian Fashion, which we are launching today. By reconnecting stakeholders in Namibia with colonial collections from Berlin and Windhoek, the project seeks to engage with colonial trauma to spur new cultural production and to envision decolonial creative features. Allow me to take you through the process of making the Museum of Namibian Fashion. Men held a stakeholders workshop to discuss the concept of establishing a Museum of Namibian Fashion. It was concluded from the workshop that the museum will provide an opportunity for visitors to view historical items of clothing and accessories, as well as contemporary designs inspired by Namibia's rich history and cultural diversity. The workshop further produced some lively discussions about the definition of Namibian fashion, which was important in determining the scope of the museum. Participants also urged collaboration with archaeologists and rock art specialists so that the pre-photography history of Namibian clothing can be included in the museum. A competition was also launched to design a logo for the new museum. The successful designer won a stay at a lodge sponsored by the Gondwana collection and a safari sweater and card holder sponsored by Kotu by Kim. Another workshop held by men in the process of the development of the Museum of Namibian Fashion was the Mudwara workshop which invited Namibian fashion designers, seamstresses, and tailors making clothes and accessories to participate. The workshop gave individuals working in the industry the opportunity to interact with historical artifacts. The aim of the workshop was to inspire young creatives to draw on our cultural roots and develop products that can be worn and will have a uniquely Namibian identity. After the workshop, participants were commissioned to produce products for show or sale, which you will see at the Museum of Namibian Fashion today. The Museum of Namibian Fashion intends to showcase past, present, and future fashion artifacts from Namibia. The museum also intends to create workshops, residency, and other activities that will benefit fashion designers and seamstresses in terms of training and income generating opportunities. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to personally thank the Deputy Minister, Honorable Faustina Kalei, for the support that her ministry gives to the Museums Association of Namibia to help us cover our core costs. The support of the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture is crucial to the survival of our association, but we believe that the partnership is a productive one. One of the key principles of MEN is building partnerships. We believe that building teams, pulling resources, and working together enables us to achieve more. Together we can reach our goals and in increase the ability of our museums to inspire and educate young Namibians. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for making museums matter.
Ladies and gentlemen, Home Protocol Observed. It is such a great honor for me to say a few words on this monumental day as we launch the Museum of Namibian Fashion. The journey of making the Museum of Namibian Fashion has been quite long, but very, very fulfilling. Just to give you a background, the first meeting we had was set up in 2019 between a few Namibian fashion designers and the Museum Association of Namibia, which was led by uh, the late Dr. Jeremy Solvesa. It was a successful meeting and we were quickly already drawn into this exciting project. It was such an exciting project for us because it was such a great opportunity and honor to be involved on a project of such great magnitude. This was a chance to be included on a national issue, an activity that was beyond our fashion creative studios. We were nervous, scared, worried, anxious, emotionally uh, drawn, and then also sometimes we clashed a lot in our meetings. But one thing was of one chord. We all wanted to be determined to see this project through and uh, make it a successful. So a first of its kind, the exercise allowed us to think beyond ourselves. More meetings followed, each activity drew us closer to this very day. A team of designers did the preliminary research, Loini Zenda and Marcelina uh, Swartboy. They looked at the archives and they tried to find what was already represented in our archives in regards to Namibian fashion. A number of workshops followed to engage fashion designers and fashion students. More working, work, working workshops followed on the conceptualization of the virtual museum as well as the physical museum that we'll have in Ojoarongo. Though not a first time that cultural projects were returned to Namibia, this was the first uh, project on restitution that involved fashion designers. As creatives, we wanted to find a creative way of dealing with our colonial history and find healing from our violent past. Moreover, through this exercise, as creatives, we move towards finding our political voices in the public sphere. Just to think back on some of our reflections, a team of uh, uh, researchers, including fashion designers, visited Berlin, and upon their return, I engaged Cynthia Shin, and in her words, I'll quote her, the objects were speaking to me. Her reflections on her experience highlighted the importance of engaging descended communities Shiming might have been tasked to go there and conduct provenance research. As these cultural objects were looked at, they actually were moved. There was no way they could look at these objects and not be moved. These objects had something to tell us. Clearly, they were communicating something to us. We have followed the discussions at the Humboldt Forum. We have seen creatives expressing through their practice, it's a groundbreaking, groundbreaking activity. Let these dialogues continue and let's see how this will heal our nation further. What is next? Where do we go from here? This is a question we are now asking ourselves and we can't run away from this question. Now that we launched the Museum of Namibian Fashion, a place for not housing the dead past, but a place where more creatives can express themselves, create our own narratives, work with the community, be with the community, uplift and apprentice. In the West, the museum is a very quiet place. We hope decolonizing this museum will be different. A place where people can come, Different dialogues can take place and also engage our past and move on into the future. Let this museum be an institution not only belonging to the past, but engaging the present. Let me end this 
note with acknowledging the people who have been working behind the screen um, tirelessly to make this all come together. Our partners, UNESCO, Gera Hangal Foundation, Museum Association of Namibia, the University of Namibia, National Museum of Namibia, Ethnographics Museum, and maybe other institutions that are probably omitted here. I also would like to take this opportunity to thank a few individuals, especially from the Museum Association team. Alfred Mufi, Tuda Haitula, Dabewashali Ashpala, the three individuals worked with us tirelessly and we came often <laughs> into heated discussion. But I'm glad that we finally have come to this day where we can see everything becoming alive. And also I would like to thank the knowledge that the fa different fashion designers shared, the skills that they shared with us and the perspectives that they shared with us and the whole IT team that was on this project. I now encourage the public to visit the Museum of Namibian Fashion in Ochoarongo, a place that's central, and we hope because of this central place, more people will be able to visit this museum. Don't forget our virtual museum. Log in, subscribe, be informed about what's happening, what the Museum Association of Namibia is still building on and working on. Nim Pandure Unene, I thank you all.
Dear colleagues from the Museums Association of Namibia, dear guests attending the virtual opening of the Museum of Namibian Fashion, I would like to warmly greet you on behalf of the Gerda Henkel Foundation in Düsseldorf, Germany. For us, today's opening of the Museum of Namibian Fashion is a great and long-awaited event. We would like to congratulate the MAN team, along with everyone else involved, for their impressive efforts in recent years. I personally am looking forward to being able to visiting the museum on opening day. And for everyone attending today by streaming, I truly hope that you too will soon be able to come to Oshiwarongo in person. For three years now, the Gerda Henkel Foundation has been supporting the collaboration between MAN, the National Museum of Namibia, the University of Namibia and Ethnologisches Museum in Berlin. The objective of the Confronting Colonial Pasts Envisioning Creative Futures project is to work with the collections in Windhoek and Berlin and to strengthen the curatorial expertise and storage conditions in Namibia. The scholars are working together closely with the communities in Namibia to preserve the country's material and intangible cultural heritage and to reinterpret the role of African museums in the 21st century. Over the last years, the team has been closely studying the colonial past. A total of 23 objects from Ethnologisches Museum are now traveling to Namibia, where they will augment the collection of the National Museum. The main task of coming month will be to present them to the Namibian public and to explore their local history. From our point of view, the real strength of the project is the way it sets out to explore the colonial past in order to find new perspectives for the future. We are immensely grateful to our Namibian colleagues for having decided to go down this path together with their German counterparts. What we at the Foundation have been gratified to see is intensely scholarly and personal collaboration between everyone, strong mutual trust, and a willingness to embark on multifaceted and long-term research processes. It is this which first enables to talk about the painful aspects of the past, associated with many an emotion, and together then reflect about processing that past in academic terms, familiarizing the public with the outcomes and developing new options going forwards. I would like to take the opportunity here to recall Dr. Jeremy Gell Sylvester, man's director until his untimely death. Suffice it to say, he was a marvelously committed and humorous project partner. Thanks to the great efforts of man, the work in Namibia has continued almost seamlessly since. And I would like to express my deepest respect for Ms. Ashipala, the acting director and all her staff. The two teams in Windhoek and Berlin have tackled the project in difficult times and under challenging circumstances. They have now achieved two major milestones as the objects from Berlin arrived here a few days ago and the Museum of Namibian Fashion has opened its doors for the first time. And yet this is just the beginning as now the research work can locally commence. We at Gerda Henkel Foundation are very much looking forward to supporting the second phase of the project through to the summer of 2024. Developing new creative ideas from the past to the future, the Museum of Namibian Fashion will be a meeting place that makes a decisive contribution to that undertaking. A doll, a pair of trousers, a wig everyday items and the stories, colors, techniques and materials associ associated with them, they will inspire and will hopefully in coming years find their place in Namibian society in a completely new way. We would like to wish everyone involved every success and hope that a great many visitors flock to the new museum full of curiosity and joy. My cordial thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hermann Patzinger. I'm president of the Prussian Cultural Heritage Foundation in Berlin, responsible for the Berlin Museums and the museums in the Humboldt Forum. I'm very happy that today we have, you have, this opening of the Fashion Museum in Ochivarango in Namibia. I'm very happy because the basis of the opening of this museum is our cooperative work. You selected, the specialists from Namibia selected 23 objects from our collection, brought them back to Namibia, Muppets, 
objects of dressing and so on, and to take it as a source of inspiration for contemporary design and fashion. And I think this is so wonderful because we work together on the collections, on the provenance and other question of collection of the past, of a difficult past. Of course, we know that being German, but to make and to develop a new way for the future, into the future, uh, a cooperative work with colleagues from Namibia. And I think this is our common way and this should be our common way into the future, working together of course, including questions of return of objects, but most important, more important than ever, finding a common way into the future and also finding objects which are able to combine our history to construct a common future. So, all good luck for this museum. I'm very happy that we could give, in a way, a kind of starting point with these objects, and I'm very curious what will come out of it. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening of the Museum of Namibian Fashion. My name is Lars Christian Koch. I'm the director of the Ethnological Museum, the Museum of Asian Art, and director of the collections of the Humboldt Forum. I'm very proud to be part of this opening ceremony, and I'm also very proud that we at the Ethnological Museum are part for these extended cooperations and collaborations funded by the Gerda Henkel Foundation. The collection we have in the Ethnological Museum is an extended collection with a problematic and diverse history. We just researched on this collection with our partners from Namibia, which opened our eyes in several directions. And we are very happy that now 23 objects are returning to Namibia to be just researched on in further corporations. We are also looking forward to return to repatriate objects they are needed in Namibia. We are looking forward for future cooperations, especially with your museum and other partners in Namibia. I wish you all the best for the coming years and for all the challenges in front of you. Thank you. Welcome to the opening of the Museum of Namibian Fashion. The motto used for last year's Namibian Heritage Week was fashion, the threads that bind us together. And this motto not only describes fashion and its social significance, it also describes what the Museum of Namibian Fashion has set out to do to bring people together and create new ties. In this sense, the motto can even be applied to the project that's behind the Museum of Namibian Fashion the intense collaboration that took place between German and Namibian individuals and institutions over the past three years. The historical fashion items in the Ethnological Museum in Berlin, around which this collaboration revolved, these items have themselves become the threads that bind us together. The history of these objects is already an entangled history. They ended up in Berlin as a result of the collecting frenzy during German colonial expansion. They are therefore embedded in a history of violence, of war, and of genocide. 22 years ago, as a PhD student of the University of Cologne, I started to collect oral history on a Vita of Uhamakari, the Battle of Uhamakari, in the area around Waterberg and Okakarara, which is not very far from Ochiwarongo. For a long time, Namibian cultural heritage has been lying dormant in German museums, only in the past few years, exhibitions have been mounted and objects like the Bible and the whip of Hendrik Wittboy or the stone cross of Cape Cross have been returned to Namibia. However, this project is the first long-term collaboration and the first collaboration that is centered around the return of objects from Germany to Namibia. We hope, therefore, that it can be a trailblazer in the provenance and restitution debate and can help us prepare for more collaboration and for more returns. A great thank you goes to the Gerda Henkel Foundation who's had the courage to fund this explorative project. The amount and the quality of work that the Museums Association of Namibia, the Ethnologisches Museum, Berlin, 
the National Museum of Namibia and the University of Namibia have put into this project, it's just outstanding. The histories behind some of the objects that have been dug up by the project members, Cynthia Schimming, Nehoa Kotondokwa, Golda Haeros, Hertha Bukasa, Jeremy Sylvester and Julia Binter have inspired me as an academic advisor to also look beyond the Berlin collection. The German Lost Art Foundation has been mandated by the German government to fund and foster provenance research. We are therefore busy creating an overview of Namibian cultural heritage in museums and university collections in German-speaking countries in Europe, based on the momentous Africa accession project that Mann and its late director Jeremy Sylvester kicked off already in 2014. This overview will enable heritage practitioners, curators, scholars, community members, as well as artists, artisans, and designers to retrieve knowledge, skills, aesthetic concepts, and the histories that are embodied in these artifacts, of which sadly only few have been shown so far. I do not want to overstretch the metaphor of threads and fabric, but I believe it must be the aim of such projects in Germany and in Namibia to create new relations and conversations between the colleagues and the publics in Germany and Namibia. Mindful of a violent past, willing to mourn and to redress that past, and eager to seek for spaces to envision a just common future. For creating exactly this opportunity, thank you to all who've been working on the Museum of Namibian Fashion, in particular man, chairperson Nihua Kotondokwa, man, acting director Ndapebo Shalia Shipala, and curator Kivano Muifi. Thank you very much.
morning. I'm pleased to be able to make a few brief remarks today in my capacity as the director of the National Heritage and Culture Program within the Ministry of Education, Art and Culture. Our directorate has been a partner of this project and we, are, we have worked closely with the different stakeholders to ensure that we produce a museum of Namibian fashion that will contribute in two important ways to the objective and aspiration of our ministry. Firstly, we believe that fashion and material culture play an important role in bringing people together. A museum that celebrates unique fashion and culture from all regions of Namibia. It will help us all to appreciate the cultural wealth of our nation. In Namibia, this work is spearheaded by the Museum Association of Namibia. And we are exploring new ways of developing museums that reflect our Namibia identity and review the way in which we share many important cultural values. Secondly, the Ministry has been committed to ensuring that each of our 14 regions is a space that can be used to show the unique cultural and natural resources. We are happy that the Museum of Namibian Fashion will not only cover the material culture and fashion of the Otsuzundupa region, but community and culture from all over Namibia. And that's why we are calling it Museum of Namibian Fashion. I'm also happy that the Museum of Namibia Fashion has provided a space where we can document, display, learn from, share both Namibians tangible and intangible cultural heritage, which we call ICH, which is recognized by UNESCO as being of global importance. When we talk about ICH, we talk about skills and knowledge that's not physical object, but something which you can hold in your hands. You can't hold it in your hands. Like the memory of the meaning and significance of certain material culture, which should be passed down from generation to generation. Connected to this, I would like to thank all of the translators who by providing translation for the current names have assisted in ensuring that our language are not lost. Language makes us what we are. I have a few personal favorite gallery in this um, beautiful um, uh, uh, museum of ours, such as the beads, cells, and the deep roots. And with this, I hope that I have encouraged you to visit the Museum of Namibia Fashion so you can see the many interesting displays for yourself. The Ministry of Education, Art and Culture is here to witness the birth of this important new museum and look forward to seeing it grow and develop over the years to come. And we are looking forward once more again so that everybody can contribute for the growth of this museum. And I thank you. Colleagues and citizens of Namibia and the world at large, I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to join you today to launch the Museum of Namibian Fashion in Ochuwarongo, which is in Ochuwarongo region. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Gerda Henkel Foundation and Dr. Michael Hansler for providing the support to enable this project to take place and as a result for this museum to be created. I have been informed that the Gerda Henkel Foundation has recently approved support for the second phase of the project, which will run for the another two years. I'm excited to see how the partners will take the confronting colonial past and visioning creative futures project to the next phase. 
if the output are anyway close to those of the first phase, I expect great things. I would also like to thank the team of the Museum Association of Namibia that has managed to make the impossible possible by managing to get the museum ready to be launched despite the many obstacles that they have faced over recent months. In this sector, we all know the Museum Association of Namibia team, as small as it may be, to be a dynamic, higher performance team, which has now been contributing significantly to the sector for the past 32 years. Our ministry will therefore continue to support Museum Association of Namibia to make museums matter for another 32 years and beyond. Fashion has played an important role in our history and continue to play an important role in many of our lives. I am informed that the team that have worked on the museum want to emphasize that museum making is an ongoing process. Namibian fashion in all its forms, the past, the present, and future is always growing. The museum does not have the space to feature every item that has contributed to our cultural heritage. The museum is therefore designed to that it can be changed and can be updated. The changes and updates will also depend upon contributions from the public. The launch of the museum is not an end, but the means to an end. It is hope of the ministry that the Museum of Namibia Fashion can grow in two ways. We hope that the museum will become a magnet that encourages visitors to donate new materials to the museum collections. And that, is, that can play an important role in helping to document and safeguard our material cultural heritage. We also believe that the museum should not be a quiet space, but that the large open space inside the museum can be used to support activities such as a small fashion shows, sewing, bead making, leather tanning, and other classes that related to the galleries in the museum. In the future, we hope that it will be possible to expand the facilities at the venue to enable it to host larger outdoor events and classes that are catered in the museum education. The Museum of the Namibian Fashion currently has six galleries. Gallery one is the reception and craft shop, which provides information about the development of the museum and has both large and small fashion related items for sale. Our hope is that the craft shop will grow into a large shop with items from Namibia designers and artists from across the country. I am also informed that the Visual Museum of Namibia Fashion is in the process of developing an online store. The main corridor hosts the People's Gallery, which showcases the contributions made by Namibian citizens to the museum. Gallery 2 discusses two themes, the beads and shells and hair and headdress. Gallery 3 covers the role of leather and skin and metal work in clothing items. Gallery 4 looks at plants, bones, and rocks, as well as tattoos and body scarifications. Gallery 5 discusses the introduction of and the use of textile in Namibian fashion. The same gallery spotlights the Deep Roots New Fashion section, which makes the museum 
of Namibia Fashion is the first of its kind to provide space where we can both celebrate our cultural heritage, but also inspire our young people to create new fashion inspired by the collections. Gallery 6 consists of an external space which will be used as a space for meetings, classes, workshops, and temporary exhibitions. Since there are so many stories to be told, the idea is that this small building will be used to provide a space for temporary exhibitions. But that of a creation of the displays in this space will be used to give birth to a series of mobile exhibitions so that the Museum of Namibia Fashion will become a laboratory that produces small traveling exhibitions that can travel to other regions in Namibia. I would like to conclude by saying that the Museum of Namibia Fashion is our museum. I would like all Namibians not only to visit the museum, but also to help us to plan, sponsor, create new displays and events at the museum in the future. Many of us have old photographs or perhaps even old jewelry or clothing in our cupboards. But a gathering dust, perhaps they can be donated to the museum and together we can help put together the pieces that tell our history and also tell our stories. In the last few years, we have been through difficult times. We have been through difficult times, but Namibians are tough. I believe that this museum reminds us of our power. And with these few words, I would like to declare the Museum of Namibia Fashion officially open. And I thank you. Dear colleagues and friends, on behalf of the Directorate of Education, Arts and Culture, I would like to thank all of you for taking the time to join both virtually and physically the official launch of the Physical Museum of Namibian Fashion. By now, I'm sure that you have accessed the Virtual Museum of Namibian Fashion, which was official opened by Ms. Major Ileka, Chairperson of the Fashion Council of Namibia on the 20th of August 2021. The link to the virtual museum has been shared across all the social media platforms of the Museums Association of Namibia. And if you have not yet had the chance to visit the museum website, please do. The impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the heritage institutions led us to find innovative ways to reach our audiences. A lot of work has gone into creating both the Virtual Museum of Namibian Fashion and the Physical Museum of Namibian Fashion. I would like to start by thanking all the different stakeholders who have already contributed to the creation of the initial displays for the museum. I would like to thank the Genda Henkel Foundation under the stewardship of Dr. Michael Hansler and I am informed with hands-on support and guidance from Ms. Bettina Elspa, Ms. Anna Lauter, and the rest of your team for the financial support that enabled the Physical Museum of Namibian Fashion to be launched last year and today. I would also like to thank the colleagues at the Ethnological Museum Berlin and the Stiftung Presiske Keltepes SPK Prof. Dr. Herman Pezinga, Prof. Lars Christian Koch, Dr. Michael Hansler, Dr. Julia Binta, Ms. Eva Litt, and all of your colleagues. Collaborating with you has helped to transform our dream into reality. I know that you have and you will continue to help to promote the museum of Namibian fashion across your networks 
and encourage people to travel to our country now that the skies have reopened for business and leisure. The Museum of Namibian Fashion has an advisory committee which is led by Ms. Maria Kalei, a lecturer for textiles and fashion basics, fashion studies and textiles, dyed, painted and printed in the visual and performing arts department at the University of Namibia. Ms. Kalei is an international acclaimed fashion designer in her own right. I would like to thank her and her team for guiding the development of the exhibition and especially Ms. Cynthia Chimi, who has also dedicated much of her time and expertise to this project. The committee worked together to develop each of the themes in the museum and they have helped tremendously to shape the displays. I believe that today is not the end of their work. In fact, it is just the beginning. Indeed, I would like to encourage people who are interested in supporting the museum to contact us and be part of museum developers in Namibia. I would also like to take this opportunity to give a special word of thanks to the colleagues at the Museums Association of Namibia who have a reputation of working tirelessly on the creation of the displays and the development of not only this museum, but for museums across the country. I have worked closely with the colleagues over the past few years, and I have seen the huge amount of work that is done by this organization in developing museums across Namibia. I am aware that MAN currently has only two permanent staff, and I know that they have worked incredibly hard to make this museum a reality and to help document Namibia's valuable, intangible cultural heritage and material culture. I cannot mention MAN without giving our heartfelt thanks to the late Dr. Jeremy Sylvester, who passed away shortly before the launch of the virtual Museum of Namibian Fashion. As I know that he tirelessly led this team to make this project and others like it a success. This was one of the last projects Dr. Salvesta worked on and it speaks volumes on his dedication and passion for the industry. I would also like to thank the acting director, Ms. Ndapeo Shali Ashpala, the museum development officer, Mr. Tunda Haitula, and the curator of the Museum of Namibian Fashion, Mr. Kavenu Alfred Mwifi, for continuing to spearhead this project. I would like to thank my colleagues in the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, who have been directly involved in working on the museum. Here I would highlight the individual who worked as documentalists, Ms. Maria Randi Mwetondange, Mr. Kavena Chivoro and the Conservators, Ms. Johanna Ngishiko and Ms. Jofin Job. I would also like to thank the colleagues at the National Museum of Namibia and the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture in Windu. Ms. Esther Mombola Kokoses, Director of Heritage and Culture Programs. Mr. Boysen Gondo, the Deputy Director. Ms. Nzila Marina Mufusisi, the Chief Curator at the National Museum of Namibia. And Ms. Godha Eros, Senior Curator anthropology for providing their hands-on support of this project. I would also like to thank Ms. Herita Bukasa, Ms. Faith Maklati, and Mr. Petros Fotolela for working tirelessly to ensure that this museum is brought to Chuarongo. I would also like to thank Dr. Goodman Wasila Lecturer, Ethnology and Heritage Studies, Dr. Martha Akawa Shifu, Shikuva, Associate Dean School of Humanities, Society and Development at the University of Namibia, and Dr. Lalisa Foster, who have co-initiated, worked tirelessly on this project and provided much needed academic advice and supervision. I would like to thank the Fashion Council of Namibia and UNESCO for their continuous support expertise and dedication
to seeing the Museum of Namibian Fashion become a reality. I would also like to thank all of the fashion designers and stockholders who attended the stakeholders' consultation workshops, reached out to museums, Association of Namibia, and continue to provide guidance for the team. However, I would like to thank this moment to once again echo the appeals of the MAN team for Namibian far and wide to reach out to the Museums Association of Namibia to give their input, ideas and contribution for the betterment of the museum while it is still in the development stages. I would like to end by reminding all the residents of Namibia that this museum is ours. This is our museum. Let us use it. Let it matter to all of us. And I thank you. I'm a Bettina Nkongo and a beneficiary of the Greta Henkel Foundation Scholarship. And I'm doing my master's in history, majoring in material culture. And I'm doing my research on the Ovaherero headdress, which is known as Ekori. And this is an amazing opportunity and the scholarship has made it possible and enabled me to be able to go in the field and collect data. And it is amazing and I'm progressing very well. So, so far I have already collected data from the Rongo region, which is covering the museums, to so a and um, the Sam Cohen Library and um, the progress with the National Museum and about to go in the field as well for uh, the community members and how they value their quality. Thank you. My name is Devin Angola. I'm one of the beneficiary of the scholarship from Agenda Engel Foundation. And I'm happy because um, I'm now in my final year of, uh, of my MA degree uh, doing my, my research focusing on one of the Awambo artifact or Merego Shipika. So far, uh, I'm happy because I have already covered three kingdom. I have targeted to go to five Awambo kingdom, namely Ondonga, Upanyama, Upambi, Ongajera and Uparudi. Ukwambi, Ukwanyama and Ondonga, uh, they are already done, but I still have uh, three participants, uh, no, two participants, which I was referred to go to from Ukwambi chiefdom. So um, next week, uh, I'm going to Ongajera kingdom, and on Saturday, I'm going to Ukwambi chiefdom to ask one of the participants that I was referred to ask. So, so the progress so far, I can say it's... Um, over 60% because I have successfully covered three kingdom and I'm going to the fourth kingdom on Monday. So the benefit of having this scholarship is good because uh, they are providing me with free Wi-Fi, uh, living allowance, and also they are also covering my transport to go to the north to do my studies. And uh, I'm very happy, I'm very grateful because I'm even able to go to the kingdom as a commoner, although it's challenging to go there, but uh, I'm very happy and I'm making a good progress. Um, good morning, everybody. I'm Eskis Larukoro. One of the participants in the Mudwaro workshop that took place last year at Midgard. Um, I just want to share a little, a little bit of what I learned from the workshop. The first one was the inspiration from the archives that was done by Ms. Cynthia Schumming. Um, it was really inspiring to learn. Um, we learned of the, the different items that our Namibian people used that was now before colonialism. Um, that was the biggest inspiration. We learned, uh, uh, um, we learned about the root, um, the root fashion, what our people were using um, from the leatherworks, the things that they made from the leatherworks, um, the beads that they were making from the bones, uh, from, from plants and all of that. 
Um, we also learned um, beautiful uh, uh, root, uh, uh, root fashion that our Namibian people were making uh, their, high, their hairstyles with, their headgears and all of that. Um, so it was a good opportunity for me as a, as a fashion designer, as a traditional fashion designer. So I would also like to um, urge all the uh, all participants or everybody who want to design or who's interested in such workshops to just look out for these opportunities at the uh, at their website at the museum website. Thank you. Good day. I started working on the confronting colonial pasts in Vesigine Creative Futures project in 2019 when a colleague and I traveled to Berlin, Germany to work as co-curators on the Namibian collection at the Berlin Ethnological Museum. While in Berlin, we carried out provenance research on some of the objects in the collection and selected the 23 objects that will be repatriated back to the country. Working, working on the objects in Berlin, I was astonished to come across objects that are over a hundred years old, but yet still found and used in our Namibian communities today. Of course, due to the scarcity of material, some objects will not be made from the same material and aesthetic appearance may differ. However, the most important component of the objects, which is their value, meaning, meaning and significance remain unchanged and this is the most fundamental aspect in preserving a culture and tradition. On my arrival back to Namibia, we as an office, the Director of Education, Arts and Culture of Chosunjupa region, were tasked to provide a building that is to house the Museum of Namibian Fashion. We toiled and worked hard to identify and have this, this building ready for the main team to start work. The journey to have this museum in Ochuarongo, in particular Ochozunjupa region, was long and had its challenges. However, it was a journey packed with excitement as we look forward to finally having a museum in the region. I would like to convey my sincere appreciation and gratitude to the sponsor of this project, the Gelta Henkel Foundation. You made this project a dream come true. You made it possible for the communities of Ochoarongo, Ochozonjupa region, and Namibia as a whole to finally have a museum where they can celebrate and embrace the Namibian fashion in an educative manner, but yet exciting. I say thank you to the Gelda Hegel Foundation. Thank you to the fashion designers and seamstresses who contributed their time, expertise, and knowledge to realize this dream. This museum tells the Namibian fashion heritage through different time periods. It's a reflection of Namibia's identity and uniqueness gazed through a rich heritage of traditional accessories, metalwork, and garments. Namibia, this museum is for you. I thank you. The Ochawanjupa region is delighted to house the Museum of Namibian Fashion. The museum will be in Ochiwarongo. This museum uh, presents us with an opportunity to interact and explore our past and present contemporary fashion. Also, the museum presents on the education of different traditional attires from different ethnic groups within Namibia. However, this museum is new Hence, I urge everyone to visit the museum, interact with the space, and contribute to future exhibition developments. Also, I urge everyone in Namibia and also outside the borders of the country to visit our beautiful museum. And we hope to see you there. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kemal Mohamfunifi and I'm the curator of the Museum of Namibian Fashion. I would like to give you a brief um, introduction and also to briefly take you through the museum. 
So the first gallery will be a reception area where we'll show information about how the project um, came about and also more information on the stakeholders and the contributors to, the, to making this uh, museum a reality. We'll also have a craft shop where we'll be selling, showcasing and selling items um, designed by local designers in, in Namibia and also to have pamphlets and books about the Museum of Namibian Fashion and also Namibian Fashion at large. Gallery 2 consists of uh, beads and shelves and hair and hairdress. Gallery 2 showcases items made out of beads and shelves and on another theme it showcases um, items such as a kori which are adorned on the body as headdress or head gear. Gallery 3 will showcase leather and skin. These are items made out of leather and skin and as well as items made out of metal work. Uh, these are things such as ongondo and other athletic uh, ways that are made um, out of metal. Gallery 4 will showcase plants, bones and rocks. These are items made out of um, organic materials such as plants, bones and rocks. And as well as it will showcase um, tattoo and body scarification from the past and the present um, tattoo artists. What is unique about this museum is that we have QR codes on the gallery display that can, that can enable visitors to access more information on our YouTube channel and also on our virtual museum. Our, the, another thing in this gallery will be the Deep Roots New Fashion. This will consist of uh, designers who got inspired by Namibian identity to create a contemporary Namibian image through design. Gallery 6 will consist of uh, the People's Gallery. These are photos contributed um, on our Facebook page during Heritage Week and they were contributed by local people dressed in their local attires. The Museum of Namibian Fashion would like to thank you for attending the lunch and would like to encourage more people to come visit the actual physical site and also to contribute to the collection and as well we, we ask that um, if any fashion designer would want to showcase within the Museum of Namibian Fashion to currently contact me at po1 at museums.com.na. I thank you.